Hello, you're welcome. This is once again Pastor David Wamimbi from Pearl Haven Christian Center with the Bible Nugget. But this week we have a very rare opportunity and I'm hosting one of the men of God from here, Pearl Haven Christian Center, Pastor Jackson Barraza. Pastor Jackson, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Pastor David. It's a great privilege to be part of the Bible Nugget this week. Yes. And uh, <laughs> good morning, viewers. I love you. Just maybe, just before we go into the Bible Nugget, I just want you to let you know that Pastor Jackson has been leading us in prayer every day in the morning from 6 to 6.30. Exactly, from 6.30 uh, to 7, actually. Actually, so, yes. Yeah, from 6.30 to 7 every morning, you can catch us live uh, on, a, on prayer. Thank you so much for leading us in prayer. But uh, this week, I have, we're going to be discussing something very important, and I believe it's going to be a wonderful week for us. And you know what? We want to talk about words. So, Pastor Jackson, I was looking at this word, words from the dictionary, and I got this definition. Uh, it is defined as the, to express something uh, spoken or written. Well, and so, in your own opinion or in your own words, if somebody asks you to define words, what would you say? Exactly. When, when um, uh, I looked at the, the definition of words yes. from my own perspective, <coughs> mm. I defined it this way. I said words are verbal expression, expressions mm -hmm. originating from the heart. From the heart. Revealing the true picture of a person's personality. <laughs> possessing destructive uh -huh. and health abilities. My goodness. Actually, when you spoke, you reminded me of a scripture I read of in the book of Matthew. Yes. That is chapter 12, verse 34, which says that uh, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Exactly. Words are expressed, are expressed thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Because you cannot know what somebody <coughs> is thinking at, yes. until they speak. You cannot know my heart. Exactly. Until I speak. Exactly. Amen. So uh, we want to go. Uh, so um, when we talk about words, one will begin to wonder where do words begin from. Well, Pastor David, when you look at the book of Genesis, mm -hmm. chapter 1 and verse 3, we see a very significant thing there. Yes. That God was the first person to speak. To speak. Wow. Because the Bible says in chapter 1, verse 3, mm -hmm. that and God, God said, said. Exactly. Right. So God said, he, and, and, uh, we, if the first person to speak is God, that is, I mean, that's very interesting. That's very powerful that in the first person to speak on this world was God. Yes. And so when, and when was God speaking? What was happening when God spoke? You know, when God spoke, mm -hmm. the Bible says in Psalms 33 and verses 6, mm -hmm. that by the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. the heavens were made and all the hosts of them mm -hmm. by the breath of his mouth. So he was creating. Exactly. Wow. When God spoke, he created. He created. So when, 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 so when God wanted to create, he spoke. Exactly. So he created by speaking. Wow, that's very important. So he created, the, the Bible is saying that he created everything in heaven and earth. Well, yes. He created he everything in heaven and earth by the word. By of, the word, yes. Praise the Lord. So, and in the midst of all, in among, among all these creatures that God created, we have a specific creature also that can speak, and that's that right. is man. Exactly. Yes. Man, among all God's creatures mm -hmm. or God's creation, yes. he is the only person that can speak. Yes. And when we read Genesis chapter 1 and yes. verses 26, yes. the Bible says, And God said, Say huh? Let us make man in our own image mm -hmm. and in our own likeness. Okay. And so if, we, if God made man in his own likeness, mm -hmm. that means man can speak and therefore man can create. Hey, so God created us to be creative creatures. Exactly, yes. We have the ability to create and, uh, and the, the ability to create is embedded in the words that we speak. Exactly, and interestingly, when you read on in verses 28 of Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. you realize that God said, and let them have dominion. 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 So how do we dominate? Uh -huh. So we dominate with words. words. So we express our, our dominion by the words, exactly. by speaking. Amen. Wow. Powerful. So it's very important for us to understand. You know, these things are simple. They look very 
and all usual, but people don't understand the value or the power that lies behind these words. Yes. Exactly, Pastor David. And also, if you, if you look on in chapter 3 of Genesis, mm -hmm. you realize that at the fall of man, it was actually originated by words. Sure. So that's the power of words. <laughs> the creation was as a result of words. Yes. And the fall was also as a result of words. Exactly. That means words have a great thing, they have a great work to do or have a great role to play in our lives or to, in what will happen to our lives. So that means we need to be very careful uh, who do we listen. I, I mean, when you talk about the fall of man, I, I just recall the conversation that went on between the serpent and, the, and Eve. The, the serpent comes to Eve and says, did really God say this? Did really God say this? And Eve is also coming out and says, uh, God said this and said this. And so there was a twisting of words. And as a result, there came a fall. Exactly. Because even today, yes. in our walk, in our Christian walk, mm -hmm. words play a very big role. Mm -hmm. Whether we are going to stand uh -huh. or we are going to fall. Okay. And it depends so much on whom you are listening, you listening to. to. Because words are very important. My goodness, that means words can be. You know, people, when we talk about temptations, people only look about, uh, uh, look at so many things, but they, we never look at the aspect of words. We see that the temptation came to Adam and Eve because of the words they listened to. So, my friend who is listening to us this morning, uh, who are you listening to, and which words are you allowing into your life? They will determine whether you will stand or you fall. And, and Pastor David, yeah. if you look at the way God came to Adam. Mm -hmm. After the fall, mm -hmm. he asked a very profound question. Which was? Who told, told you? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you? These are words. I tell you, I, we can't go beyond that. That is the biggest question that I, can, I want to leave this morning with everyone who is listening to us. Who told you? May God bless you so much. Thank you so much for listening to us. And I hope we have been blessed this morning. We look forward to tomorrow as we continue to dive deeper into this aspect of words of our life. Thank you so much, for Pastor Jackson, for coming today. We look forward to having you for this whole week. Thank you so much, Pastor David. Bye. Bye.